Hey, this is Craig, and um, I'm doing uh, vlog number 15 today. And uh, this is one that uh, may help you find more things with your metal detector. Um, years ago, uh, I was using the Toltec 100, and uh, so was my friend. And uh, we were going down to Stafford County to uh, these uh, union camps. And uh, I spent a lot of time in uh, Stafford County over the years. And uh, after the Battle of Fredericksburg, they got the uh, Union Army got slammed by the uh, the uh, Confederates, and uh, they fell back across the uh, Rappahannock River and went into a uh, winter camp in Stafford County. And uh, there was over 150,000 troops that wintered in the camp in, in Stafford County. So uh, I spent years looking for these camps and um, some of them were easy to find and others were, you know, way back in the middle of nowhere. But uh, when we were hunting this, this spot, uh, I was getting a lot of bullets but I wasn't getting as many buttons as my friend. And uh, I couldn't figure out, you know, how come he kept getting all these buttons and I wasn't getting them. And I was at this site and we were dig I was just digging bullet after bullet after bullet. And I got a good signal, but it didn't read on the meter. And I thought, well, let me dig this and see what it is. So I dug down and it was a uh, eagle coat button. And I thought, man, the thing didn't read on the meter. And uh, I suddenly realized that the meter was like holding me back. So in the next couple of weeks, I, was, I wasn't even looking at the meter. I was just digging the signal. And uh, it was unbelievable how many, how good, a, you know, I had, a lot more fine, especially with the buttons. Uh, found grommets, rivets, all kinds of stuff that uh, that's really small. Uh, so uh, <laughs> some people probably won't like this because I, you know, I've always had people. What does it read on the meter? And I said, I don't really care. I just like seeing what it is after I dig it up. <laughs> so. Uh, if you, you know, if you, if you take a chance, especially with relic hunting, a lot of the signals are deeper because they've been in the ground for a longer period of time and, uh, in the old, older colonial sites and, uh, take a chance and go for it. I mean, the worst that can happen is you can dig a piece of junk. <laughs> so, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, give me some comments and, uh, and also give me some, uh, uh, new topics you want may want to hear about. All right, guys, you have a great day. It's uh, still kind of cold down here in the Shenandoah Valley. We had 80 some degrees the other day, and now it's I got up this morning and it was 40. So, uh, <laughs> hoping for some better weather. All right, you guys, take care.